Welcome back to the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by Daniel Hood Roofing Systems. When it comes to roofing, trust the VFL you've seen right here on the Sports Source. Daniel Hood Roofing provides and installs high quality GAF roofing systems for families all across East Tennessee. And at Daniel Hood Roofing, protecting what's under your roof is job one. DanielHood.net to, to learn more. Daniel will be with us as well as Will Overstreet, Sterling Hinton, and um, I don't know if somebody else is going to be here next week or not. We'll have, we'll have five or six of us here uh, next Sunday as we kick off our 18th season of covering the Vols, which is hard to believe on so many levels. All right, <laughs> let's go for the first time to the uh, Chucky C-Note Casino. Uh, it's a big, beautiful window over there. You can yeah, see the tote boards. I like it. I like can, everybody's it. milling around in the background. It's great. Uh, Chuck, in terms of Tennessee and South Carolina, the Vols will win or lose, and by how much? Boy, I, you know, I'll tell you what, the one thing I can just about guarantee is this will be the most competitive game week one in the SEC. I also think it'll be the lowest line week one in the SEC. You could put South Carolina as a three-point favorite. I think you could put Tennessee as a three-point favorite. But I think the Vols will win. UT, we'll put it here, the big mighty orange, will win by three, and we'll, John likes it to have it a half, by three and a half. Yeah, three and a half makes it tougher on the right. rest of us. All right, now, there's no money on this, despite what Chuck says. In the past, you know, usually what we do is we have imaginary dollars that we all wager. Uh, no dollars today because the other guys would be probably an advantage over <laughs> us. They'd still be at zero next week when we're below. Uh, in terms of this game, Tennessee by three and a half. Which way are you going, Josh? Uh, I'm going to take South Carolina, but I'm going I'm to have Tennessee because winning. Because you hate the Vols? That's the main reason, uh, but you have a long <laughs> list. Uh, I'm going to go with South Carolina uh, getting the points, but Tennessee to win a close one. Okay, he takes South Carolina plus three and a half. I'm going to take Tennessee and give the points. Um, so that means Tennessee win by three. But um, I'm going to take Tennessee and give the points. I think they win the game. Uh, and it, I think it's going to be a, a, a low-scoring game. I don't see a whole lot of points in this one. But I think Tennessee takes them. I'm going to agree with Josh. I, I think that when you look at this game, I mean, last year was kind of the, the exception to the rule. This has been a very tight series. Tennessee has lost five. Now, there's no crowd. So take that out of it. No big crowd for South Carolina. So that's not really going to have an, an impact. But... Five of your last six trips over there, you've lost. And the one you won was a 45-42 overtime shootout. So you haven't had a lot of success over there. In first games under Jeremy Pruitt, <laughs> not great against West Virginia, not so great against Georgia State. I think Tennessee does squeak it out. I think Tennessee wins, but I think it's going to be a squeaker. So I'll take South Carolina. Well, they got most champs number now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. They've been hey, it out. one in a row. Yeah. Is that right? Chuck, you can walk back into your zone <laughs> okay. here if you want, into your bubble. Well, and one thing I'm looking at, too, is, is I think the schedule maker did Tennessee a favor. I mean, even though you opened on the road, how long has it been since, you know, you opened SEC play 1-0? This isn't Florida. You know, I, I like that aspect of it. And then if you can get this one and you come home, you get Missouri, you're 2-0. So I think that is that would be a huge shot in the arm for this program to get the season going the right way. Okay. Uh, when you look around the uh, the rest of the SEC, you're already seeing issues. Missouri's got a number of guys that are already out. Uh, Fortunately, they open with Bama, though. So that's right. <laughs> Doesn't matter. They opted out. <laughs> yeah. Is there are there any of these game one uh, matchups that stand out to you aside from Tennessee? The Auburn Kentucky yeah. is that the would one be to the watch. answer. Yeah. I tell you, one that I think could be interesting is Mississippi State and LSU. You don't know what you're going to get with Mike Leach, KJ Costello, the quarterback there. They run this funky offense, and LSU has lost a ton of players from that national championship. Coaches team. too. It, yeah, they've lost a, a co-defense. Uh, they lost a defense coordinator and a pass game coordinator. I think that Mississippi State can throw a big scare into LSU if Costello plays well and if Leach gets his passing game going. But LSU just doesn't have the personnel they had a year ago. It's not even close. And I've heard a lot of people that give Kentucky a good chance to go to Auburn and win, and, and I don't know that I buy into that. Yeah, but I, it is going to be an interesting game. They could have – a lot of people think that the best offensive line in the, in the conference may not be Tennessee's, maybe Kentucky by the end of the year. So it'll be interesting to watch. All right, so we all took Tennessee to win, some of us closer than others. Josh, Jimmy, Chuck, you'll all be here next week along with Will, Sterling, Daniel. We'll see you next year, next week as well. Thanks for joining us. See you next Sunday.